These highlights are proudly brought to you by Campolina, thoroughbred racing and breeding. And Landserve, delivering sustainable environmental solutions. As the oldest track cycling race in the world, the 2013 version of the Austral Wheel Race is steeped in tradition. Boasting 115 editions since the first Austral, way back in 1887, this race has seen all the big names try their luck. Raced on the boards at the Durban International Sports Centre in Melbourne, and supported by 27 other races on the program, the evening is one that any self-respecting Aussie cycling fan really should get along to. Commentators Matthew Keenan and Rick Fulcher add to the entertainment while fans place a bet or two and sit back to enjoy the night. This is the 115th edition of the Austral. When you think of the Tour de France this year, it will be the 100th edition of the race. So that's a mere baby by comparison to this one, which started on the MCG and it drew huge crowds. When you look at the 1898 edition of the race, there were 30,000 people watching the Austral. That year in the VFL Grand Final, there was less than 15,000 people watching that grand final. So it gives you an indication as to how big the race was. And you look at the honour roll, it's got the greats of Australian cycling. Sid Patterson, Danny Clark, some of the best track cyclists the world has ever seen. So as the juniors fought it out for their titles, which saw Chloe Moran and Samuel Maney reign supreme, we had a quick chat to the very jet-lagged four-time world champion, Olympic silver medalist and six-day legend, Switzerland's Franco Marvulli. Uh, winning the Austral is like uh, winning the, the Australian Open in tennis. It's, uh, it's one of these races you really want to win. I've not won a lot of wheel races in my time, so um, winning something as big as this would mean quite a lot to me, I think. To do the double in, um, in this year as a first year 19 would be great, and, and to be riding off scratch is just a, it's an honour. Coming off scratch, it's a pretty big ask, but I know I've had some good form lately, so hopefully I can get the result. And so down to the track for the start of the women's Austral. And there is Taylor Jennings sitting on scratch with Stephanie Ferdinand's Prisca five metres in front of her. As we move around the track to Caitlin Ward and Alexandra Manley off 35 metres. Jennings made a good start as the backmarker getting straight onto the wheel of Ferdinand's Prisca. Caitlin Ward starting off 20 metres in front of Ferdinand's Prisca made a flying start pulling away to get onto the wheel of Manley. Loretta Hansen up out of the saddle over the line. Jessica Laws takes the wheel of Ruby Grieg Hertig as they close in on Emily Apolito and Grace Fryer. The outmarker Rebecca Williamson off 165 worked solo as the six lap race unfolded. Starting with a 50 metre advantage over Apolito, Williamson stayed tough to maintain most of that lead with three laps to go. Emily Apolito, Grace Fire, Jessica Mundy and Ruby Grieg Hertig soon formed a group of four and worked well together to chase Williamson. The back markers of Jennings and Ferdinand Prisca joined the middle pack to form a group of seven, closing to 30 metres off the group of four. Then a big move from the South Australians in the red and white saw the pressure on Ferdinand Prisca, who lost the wheel, leaving Jennings with some work to stick with the South Oz girls. Caitlin Ward in the Jayco blue, white and yellow wasn't letting them go without her though and funded around the remains of the group of four. Jennings, showing why she rode off scratch, bridged across to sit in fourth position as they entered the straight for the bell. Ward attacked hard for the win as Jennings took the high side around the SA girls. Ward with the accelerator down hard rode off the front and so it was down to a Victoria Queensland drag to the finish. Jennings closing in on Ward but will she get over the top? Ward times it perfectly to take the win by a wheel. Caitlin, congratulations mate, a fantastic win. Uh, you must be over the moon. Yeah, absolutely stoked, so happy. Um, the Austral is a race that I've come to ever since I started, like five years ago, as a junior, and it's just one of those races that you look up to and you really want to win, and I can't believe I actually did it. It's awesome. The South Australians are doing like an amazing job leading out. I just think they were doing that for their riders, but I just got along for the ride, I guess. I knew when I like when it came to the bell lap, I just jumped as hard as I could, I could get there. I didn't know where the girls were behind me, so for all I knew they could have been on my wheel and I could have just been blown out the back, but I just wanted to give it a shot. 
and gave it a shot she did. A great win there for Caitlin. As we head down to the start of the men's Austral, Jack Edwards on scratch our back marker and Samuel Lane off 180 our out marker. The gun goes to get them started. The Austral is off and racing. Jack Edwards ably assisted by none other than Ben Kirsten who ran two or three times as far as the others got off to a cracker from his scratch position. Completing the first lap on the wheel of German life lamb patter and Dutchman Nicholas Stopner. The trio steaming ahead to form the middle section of a group of eight. This group looked very strong and smooth and worked well together to catch the leaders. But an equally strong middle group had formed, featuring Ben Ables, Jason Niblett and Hayden Bradbury, and was shutting the lead group down fast. With the race nearly halfway through, the back markers were half a lap down on the leaders, while the middle group slipped past and into the lead. Bradbury dragging the others forward, desperately trying to position Ables for the win. With four to go, his work was done and he swung off to leave Abel's in the lead. Parlevent and Niblett hot on his tail. The informed Niblett, the commentator's favourite, sitting in the box seat. So the remaining riders from the middle group swing through to take the lead of the race. Ben Abel's, Cameron Parlevent and Jason Niblett. Jason Niblett sitting third wheel at three laps to go, calmly looking around always gauging the situation. If you listen carefully, you can hear his family in the crowd, not quite as calm as he seems, and rightly so. Abel's legs finally leaving with only two laps to go. Cameron Parlevet now leads at the bell, with Niblett ready to pounce, still calmly looking around watching for challenges. And then as they enter the back straight, Niblett makes his move, rolling Parlevet. Kyle Thompson and Oliver Phillips flow through with Niblett, Jack Edwards breaks free of the back markers, finishing fast. But it's Niblett, the newest Austral champion. Thompson second and Phillips third. Edwards, a very respectable fourth. To win it and to finish off my career like this is just amazing. And my mum's in the crowd and um, should be overwhelmed sort of thing about it. So, yeah, I'm just stoked. It's a, a, such a significant event. Um, take us through the last few laps there. You guys really stand through the, uh, the last few. Oh, listen, I had, a, I had a good group of riders around me. Um, so without them, I couldn't, have, uh, I couldn't have done it like that. So I say thank you to them. And my name's now on the honour roll with some big names. So I'm over, overwhelmed. Yeah, that, that is a pretty uh, impressive honour roll too, mate. You're yeah. quite aware of the history of this race, I understand. Yeah, that's uh, right. How significant is it that your name is now on there? Oh, it's, it's like I've, uh, I've raced since I was like 11 years old, so I've seen the likes of Pate, Shane Kelly, um, all the big names sort of thing. Shane Perkins one year won it as well, fellow teammate of mine, and um, I run third that year and I was pretty stoked about that. So to win it this year, it's just, it's just great. Like it's just a good way to cap off my career and um, it's something totally different to my career. So it was real icing on the cake tonight. Fantastic. Congratulations, mate. Really well Thank done. You. Thank you very much. A sensational end to one career and a stellar start to another. Well, in the senior ranks anyhow. The champions take to the podium at the Joe Ciavola Velodrome at disc putting an end to the 115th edition of the world famous Austral. These highlights are proudly brought to you by Campolina, thoroughbred racing and breeding, and Landserve, delivering sustainable environmental solutions.